I fell into the game with instant kill chapter, a vampire after entering the city, we found a lodging, and Asher and I immediately went to the slave trade shop run by Volkolov. When we passed the security guards and entered the building, I saw an employee at the counter, a fat middle-aged woman who was scribbling something on her paper saw me and said hello, welcome young master, what kind of slave did you come to buy, I told her, I heard a vampire came in as a slave, oh, that's right, she just arrived, the woman looked embarrassed, but she continued her words with regret. She said, but you can't buy that child because she's already scheduled to be sold to someone else. I'm sorry, scheduled for sale. I knew intuitively that she was lying to me, and also the hidden meaning of her words. Come to think of it, they were talking about the bidding earlier. They were talking about the one that would take place in Dumhawk City, a secret auction hosted by Volkolov. The vampire girl was scheduled to be auctioned there. I said again. How much should I pay for her so you can sell her to me? Yes, that's even if I paid golds or two platinum coins. Is it still not enough? Yes, the woman lost her words for a moment, then she spoke hastily. Now, could you wait for a moment, young master? It'll bring the manager right away after saying that. The woman who went inside returned after a while. She returned with two men, one of whom was familiar. It's him. The long-haired guy I saw at the checkpoint earlier, he greeted me as he approached me with a business-like smile. Oh hello. Young master, I heard you came to purchase a vampire slave. Yes. By the way, as you've heard, it's a product whose buyer was already decided so we're having a bit of trouble selling it. This guy was definitely trying to see just how much I would pay for the vampire by saying all these useless things. Three platinum coins. I have no intention of offering more, stop messing around and tell me if you want to sell it for this price or not, if not it'll go right back. As I said that, I took out three platinum coins in front of me, the branch manager standing next to me looked back at me with shaking eyes, the guy who was staring at me immediately replied with a grin, I understand young master, as you wish, I will sell it for three platinum coins, thank you very much for using our Vulcan of slave shop and Asher and I went down to the basement of the building following his guidance. In the basement, slaves were locked in bars at intervals, and it was a sight that made me frown. Here it is, in the prison they finally arrived at, young boys, and girls were locked up. Among them was the vampire girl I was looking for. She was wearing iron shackles on her ankles, and her ankles were all scaly, visible with blood scabs. The guy opened the cage with his key and went inside. He approached her who curled up in her corner. Stand up, vampire bitch. Your master is here. The girl slowly raised her head and looked up at me. I could feel a mixture of wariness and hostility toward me in the eyes filled with emptiness. I also looked at her straightforwardly and said, remove the shackles. Yes, yes, I see. Soon the long-haired man released the shackles from her ankles and threw the girl out of the cage. Asher, who was following me, held the girl, if you want we can give her a bath right away to make her clean. The guy said, looking at the girl, the girl who received that look trembled, no need, I'll take her right away, yes, I understand, then pay the bill off, thank you. I immediately handed him three platinum coins, after going back to the ground, I was about to leave right away because I didn't want to talk any more, but he grabbed him and said, Young master, do you know about the secret auction we are hosting in Dumhawk City? I looked back. He grinned and took something out of his pocket. It's an auction where quality slaves of various races come out and occasionally treasures excavated from ruins also appear. If you're interested, this is saying that. He handed me an invitation in a luxurious envelope. If you go to the branch manager in Dumhawk City, he will guide you through the auction. Then I look forward to seeing you again, young master. Yeah, no thanks. I turned around and left the building. I could hear them talking inside with my super sense and enhanced hearing. John, is this really okay? It was an item to be auctioned off it doesn't matter as long as I explained it to my brother well. And there's another one anyway. But still it was a product that could not exceed gold at most but how much profit would we get selling for several times than that? Looking at him. He looks like a noble from another territory shook my head and headed for the inn with Asher and the girl.